So it is the cold and flu season, and if you ever get sick, you're just trying to feel better, anything to get better. So we have Dr. Janice Johnston here. She is the medical director of, and the co-founder, I should also say, right, <laughs> of Redirect Health. We're talking about what to avoid if you're sick. This could really make a difference in you feeling better, right? Yeah, so, you know, uh, it's a bad, bad flu season yeah. right now. It's it's probably one of the worst um, that I've ever seen of my career. And, you know, making sure that you're getting good stuff in you can certainly uh, make it faster for you to get better and, and, and get on the road to recovery. So if you have a cold, what should I avoid and then what should I actually have? Yeah, so what I brought today was just a, a, a bunch of things that honestly I would think would be uh, quite good for you, um, but some things might be better options than others. Uh, so we think about green tea and, and the bullet coffees, you know, that have the good fats and the protein and things like that, um, but they all are high in caffeine and caffeine can be quite dehydrating. And we know when you go to the doctor and you're sick, we, oh, what do we always say? We always say drink plenty of fluids, right? right? So we want fluids that are going to actually fill you up. Water is a good thing, but sometimes when you're feeling sick, you just, you know, you just don't feel um, like drinking and it's difficult um, to right. be drinking some fluids. Um, so even though these might be good healthy options, these kinds of things I think would be maybe a better one this one has to be my favorite. This is called throat coat tea. Uh, I work a lot with professional musicians and I can tell you that in backstage uh, it, mm -hmm. it is always throat coat tea. It's an herbal tea that really just kind of coats the throat and uh, makes it feel uh, a lot better. So when you've got a bad sore throat, it's, it's such a good, good option for you. Um, I brought some ginger tea as well too um, and that uh, can help to soothe um, the stomach. And even though, you know, soda might not be the best healthy right. option for you, ginger ale um, can be so, so soothing um, for the stomach when it's upset, especially if you stir the fizz out and just take little sips at a time. And then we have over here cantaloupe, bananas. Th this is also a good option as yeah, well? Yeah, they're, they're good things. So orange juice, you know, is, is packed with vitamin C, but it can be somewhat acidic as well too. So that can kind of irritate the back of the throat um, too. So if you have a cough, probably orange juice is not a good thing to yeah, have. Yeah, maybe not, but, but we do want you to have some vitamin C. So uh, cantaloupe would be a good option. And you can actually find these uh, great uh, immunity boosters now. Little shot, maybe don't taste the best in the world, but it's just a tiny little shot. And do these actually work? Do they actually help? They, they have some really, really good things in them. Uh, a lot of people do feel like it gives them a little bit of boost of energy and anything to boost up that immune system is what we want to be doing. And you said something interesting as well. If you have a fever, don't eat meat. Right. So protein is uh, something that's a little bit harder to break down. Um, and so, uh, you know, maybe like a bone broth or something like that would be a, a, a better option um, than, you know, eating a big steak or something like that when you're not feeling well. I mean, sometimes a big steak does sound good, but probably not the best option. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Janice Johnston, she's a medical director and co-founder of Redirect Health. We hope you all stay healthy. We'll be back after the break. Thank you.